Hi folks, this tutorial comes from my favourite movie trilogy of all time, the fantastic Back to the Future, and who better to start with than the brilliant Dr Emmett Brown. I love a crazy character, he's got great crazy eyes to do with a big angry look on his face in this picture. Um, I've done the 1950s version, um, at some point I might come back and do the older version as well as doing Marty and Biff and Lorraine McFly and all that, but um, for now let me know how you get on and remember to like and subscribe. Right, with this one I'm going to start with a small curved line like that's top of his nose and then we're going to do some smaller sort of C shapes, upside down C shapes and darken those in to make those nostrils. Then we're going to do a hint of the side of the nose and the side of the nose and then a line that curves in and out with a slight hint on that side. Up here I'm going to do a line down the middle and another line and then we're going to go up and down and up and down like that. Then we'll do a slightly curved circle line there and there and the same with an outside of a circle over this side so bring the eyebrow just slightly past it about these big crazy eyes. I'm going to do a line going across and a line going across and then a couple of creases at the side here and there. Then I'm going to put a slight bag under the eye and a slight bag under that eye and then do some small eyebrow marks going around slightly closer to the middle there at the bottom and then put a few lines in there like that. Once we've got that I'm going to do a very small circle there and then one slightly closer to the edge of the eye and then a bigger one and a bigger one there and that larger one we can darken in just like that. Then we're going to do a couple of lines on the forehead going around and around like that. And then a line down the middle with a little curve on it. After that we're going to bring a line up, down, up and around like to the start of the mouth. So somewhere down here, edge of the eye, we're going to go up, down, up and around. And then slightly up from the edge of there, a line going down and over like that. Then bring a slight line there for a tooth and a slight line there for a tooth. And a little line down the bottom there for a tooth. And then put a very faint line there for a tongue that might not show in a colouring but at least it's there for now. Then bring a crease line down and down like that and then we're going to do a big old bottom lip just on the underneath like that now put a couple of lines just around the outer side to make them a little bit wilder and then a small mark under there two lower lines look at the side the shape of the chin and then a sort of squarish chin like a rounded square like that Then I'm going to bring a line down, slight curve, and then over. And the same this side, down, slight curve, and over like that. Then I'm going to do an ear mark, so I go round, down, and curve in. And around, down, and curve in like that. Then I'll do a line around the outside of the ear there. And the same with that side. Once you've got that, I'm going to put some little lines on his forehead. Up there, and then do a slightly wavy line one on one side. And then a more solid curved line that side. 
and then from this side flick out some hair from there and then do some sort of flicked out bits just going out like that up here I'm going to bring the hair over and then down and just start flicking it just so you get past those ears a big crazy old hair and then put some hair on the temples just to give it some texture going around like this and just behind the jawline a few more lines here there and everywhere just better than giving it one big solid block for the hair you know we're not drawing a lego character here so then did a few lines just to fix finish off that head Now, just before I carry on, let's do a couple of little crease marks on the side of his mouth. Now we're going to do a couple of lines to show a neck. Now, bear in mind, it's going to be a caricature, so the body's going to be quite small. So, what I'm going to do is do a small square there. And just put some lines on there to darken it in. And then a couple of little collars and darken those in with some lines as well and then I'm going to do a big collar round and a big collar round like that and then arch this out like that and out like that once I've got that I'm going to do a line down and wiggle it across and then I'm going to put these little lines going up to make that pattern. Just like that. Next up, I'm going to do another line going out and wriggling across and out and wriggling across like that. And we just join these little bits up. Doesn't matter if you slightly miss like that, it just puts a crease in the coat anyway. And then we're going to do a line going out and down like that and another one out and over like that to make the arms sticking out. Then I'm going to do a small cuff on his top and a small cuff and then do a thumb mark curved out like that and then back and the same on that side out and then back then do another finger out and then back and we just need four more of those hinting or three more of those hinting behind there and again then a finger that side and three more hinting behind then put some finger and thumbnails and the same on this one And then we're going to do a line going down the edge there and down, one down that side and down and go in slightly and in slightly then up and across and down. Then we'll put two square laces on either side, a foot going out and a foot going out and go in and up, in and up, and then put the sole of your shoe there on either side. Then I'm going to do the back of his coat going round behind his legs there, a couple of little textures on his trousers and on his coat, just to kind of give it some shape, a bit of line on the face, just gives it bit of an edge and then we're going to put some lines underneath to indicate the ground and there you have the wonderful Doc Emmett Brown <laughs>